Well, it was looking good halfway through the season for Lima Central Catholic, a three game losing streak. Had them under 500 in that late of a season for the first time since 2016, but they believed they were better, and so they did. Here's how the Thunderbirds caught lightning in a bottle. The start was promising enough. Emphatic victories over Shawnee and St. John's had Lima Central Catholic 2 0. Then, back to back losses had the T Birds up against the ropes at 2 3. Their record in the nine weeks since? Eight and one. And there was nobody hanging their head. There was nobody feeling sorry for themselves. We knew we had to get to work, that we had the potential to be a uh, quality football team. We just had to clean some things up. We were turning the ball over a lot and having a lot of mental errors. And I give our kids credit. They came out week six, played a great football game against a good Hopewell Loudon team. And we've just kind of uh, gained momentum from there. And you know, I'm proud of our guys to be one of the final four teams left. Cleaning up turnovers fell to quarterback Carson Parker. In those three losses, Parker threw five total interceptions. He's thrown only four in the last nine weeks, showing, along with the rest of the team, what they were truly capable of, starting with Hopewell Loudon. Just showing up, working harder every day, just to put the extra work in, because we knew that our, those three losses were very tough losses, but we just had to come in and put the work in, and we would get back to where we are today. And we knew we were better than we were, what we were showing we were doing, but then after we beat them and got back to 500, we knew what we really could do and how far we could finish this season. That confidence could also come through the crucible that is LCC schedule. According to Fantastic50.net, the Thunderbirds have the third toughest strength of schedule in Division 7, one of only three non-MAC teams in the top 10. We play some good football teams. You know, I don't know how to measure it or say it's the toughest, but we play all sizes and shades. We play a lot of quality football teams. Um, you know, the teams we lost to in, three in a row, we lost to a good Tenora team that, that ended up, I think, with nine wins. Huron was another 9-10 win team. Bishop Hartley, who's... You know, plays a schedule in the Division Four level like we played in the Division Seven level. Very tough, very competitive. So we didn't lose the three slouches. They're really good football teams, and uh, I think you get battle tested. You play those good football teams for ten weeks, and uh, you make yourself better. And you see, you know, the size and strength and speed that we've seen all year. It helps you get ready for the playoffs. On Saturday, they take on New Bremen, who have the sixth highest strength of schedule, who also had a tough Week Ten loss, and who also have been on a roll in the postseason. I and mean, they've got athletes and size and great coaching and you no know, really really strong football team and it's going to take a tremendous effort to uh to to beat a good team like that and our kids know that they know uh, we know we obviously played two years ago they know the type of uh, talent level and tenacity and physicality they're going to play with and you know we've got ready to go and uh, hopefully our hard work and our schedule throughout the year has prepared us for this moment and you know we know we're going to play our best to get a victory and uh, you know at, at this point in the year I think that's what it, what you should have to do so I think our kids will be ready and uh, hopefully a really good football game regardless of how Saturday turns out these last nine weeks have showcased what this year's LCC team is capable of. I knew going in, we had some very talented, talented football players that uh, if we could get things going in the right direction, that we would uh, have a chance to uh, really make a run. I don't ever say that, you know, that expect to be in the uh, in the final four, but we thought we could be competitive and, and really play with, with just about anybody at our level. And our kids have done a great job of doing that.